காஞ்சிர பள்ளியிலே எல்லா ஜனங்களுக்கும் வித்யார்த்திகளுக்கும் என்ற நமஸ்காரம் friends good morning to all of you and also the people who are uh, away from this sig hall also because lot the number of people are outside i would like to greet all of them <laughs> now first i would like to greet uh, my friend sri jack matthew executive director malayala manorama and his eminence Mr. Matthew Arakal and Sri Matthew Vargis Father Jose Kannambura Principal Amal Jyoti College and Dr. Achyuta Sangar Nayar and uh, who has given a beautiful description of your success stories so friends i am indeed delighted had to participate in the Manor Malayala Manorama Manorama Yuva Master Mind event and the exhibition also you have organized i understand at uh, kanjirapalli kerala my greetings to the organizers and participating student from engineering and science colleges principal faculty members students of amal jyoti engineering college and its management distinct guests assembled here particularly students i am very happy to note that mastermind contest is a unique contest I aimed at promoting a spirit of innovation among youth from 9th standard to 12th standard and college students in Kerala. It is a beautiful mission. It is being conducted by Malayalam Manorama in association with Amal Jodi Engineering College, Kanjirapalli, as a technical partner. Out of, I understand, 600 proposals, 25 proposals at college level and 20 proposals at school level were recommended. Finally, six proposals were selected for award i was very happy to see the happiness in the minds of the people who participated my greetings and uh, congratulation to all the participant of this contest and the award winners when i am with you i would like to talk on the topic innovation ecosystem innovation ecosystem innovation ecosystem that's the topic in 15 minutes i am going to talk to you friend dear friends the uh, before i start my lecture i let share one experience in kerala this is a beautiful experience i was planned to reach wayanad wayanad on 17th february two days back 2011 evening at 5:30 pm and you know as usual delhi get all types of fog one fog real fog came in on that day due to fog my flight was delayed for 5 hours in delhi since i heard that thousands of youth students and parents and teachers are waiting in wayanad i did not want to cancel this visit i proceeded i proceed based on the advice of district collector mr ratishan of wayanad when i you know i crossed the big cities like delhi bangalore bangalore and many cities i was crossing i was 7 uh, hours drive from bangalore to wayanad in the midnight and uh, i reached there at 12:30 am on 18 february 2011 now i am supposed to address them 5:30 17th evening okay now i reached them at 12:30 on 18 february next day in the midnight almost midnight so but i could see the smiles in all of their faces with enthusiasm thousands of people assembled here what a uniqueness that i have witnessed is they are all waiting in the midnight to light the lamp of knowledge they light the lamp of knowledge seems to be unique to kerala i inaugurated the project called arividam arividam portal arividam portal at midnight 12:30 and 19 arividam means the place of knowledge as you know the objective of the arividam program is the delivery of educational information and knowledge for the student teachers and public to bridge the digital gap 
in education at the regional level. At the midnight, all the students took vote with me. Arivinam, yengalai mahana kete, yengal vaina tine vur ayuda ayuda makku. This the this is the vote they took nearly thousands of students midnight of uh, 19th, 18th. What a transformation that Kerala is going through. I am really happy about it. Next I went to Jawar Navodaya Vidyalaya in Vaitil, Vayanad. At around 1.30 a.m. You are all sleeping, is it? Na? Yeah, you are all sleeping? So 1.30 a.m. there, I, including video was <laughs> There I could see hundreds of students we were waiting without sleep. I felt really sorry for that delay. I interacted with them. What I witnessed from them is that at 2.30, uh, they are all wanted to be unique in thinking and action. They want to be unique. Now friends, hear me carefully what I am going to say. The, dear friends, so far, I have met 11 million youth last one decade all below 20 years. I know their aspirations and pain also I know. I would like to share with you one thing. I learned every youth wants to be unique. That is you. Every youth? Unique. That is you. But the world, but the world all around you is doing its best day and night to make you just everybody else. Now the question is, when you discover innovation, when you become a girl of innovation, a boy of innovation, you want the breaking the cycle, but the world all around you is doing its best day and night to make you just everybody else, you become unique you there. So being like everybody else is convenient at the first class but not satisfying in the long vision. The challenge, therefore, my young friends who are assembled here is, I am addressing young people and also all around. The challenge, therefore, my young friends, is that you have to fight the hardest battle, fight the hardest battle, which any human being can ever imagine to fight and never stop fighting until you arrive at as you, your destined place that is the unique you. Now tell me, how many of you want to become unique you in this hall? How many of you want to become unique you? Okay, almost uh, all of you. Then, then I have a message for you. Dear friends, when I see you all and your innovation that have been shaped in the form of exhibition in your own unique way, and also the, I saw some of the young people I discussed with them, you all have exhibited your uniqueness today. Technology, medicine, arts, sports, industry, or even in developmental politics, the names of the people who imagined the impossible are engraved timelessly in our human history. By breaking the limits of their imagination, they transform the world. And dear friends, look up. Look up that one. Don't always see down. Look up. Look up now. What you see? A yeah, bulb is there, isn't it? Is it not? When you see the bulb, when the light comes in, you remember a fellow? Who is that? Thomas Alva Edition, we remember. He is a unique you. Is it not? He has become a unique you. In your house, you take your telephone receiver. Whom do you remember? Graham Bell, you remember? Every day, over your home, you hear the sound of aircraft crashing, okay? Crossing your home. When the aircraft flying, whom do you remember? Right, brothers. Your Kelvin, the big famous scientist. Uh, she said, nobody, can, no, no product which is heavier than air, it, can, it cannot be flown. He said, 1895, 1903, right, brothers, proved, proved the scientist is wrong and they flew. Then there was one scientist. He was traveling the ship to Cambridge. And uh, when he was in the ship, he saw the horizon, a sea horizon, and also sea, everything was blue. 
sky was blue sea was blue he asked a question why why sky is blue why why sea is blue at the junction he asked and uh, immediately went to the laboratory in calcutta and it discovered raman's effect okay he got a nobel prize so in our own country in last 20th century we great great human be not only got the freedom not only got the freedom by new technique uh, and without violence new technique himsa dharma also he fought in south africa uh, for anti apathic system there also he succeeded so these are all friends good example for the unique you question is whether you want to be unique you you follow or you want to be everybody else that is very easy our homes are making us everybody else our schools are making everybody else our colleges are making everybody else okay and uh, and when you go for the employment they are also will make you everybody everybody else but you have to break the chain by knowledge knowledge when i say you make the hardest battle i don't want you to take a sword or gun your gun and sword is knowledge the knowledge makes you knowledge makes you great mahan knowledge makes you mahan so far we have seen those who walked into unexplored path have achieved success because of their creativity and innovation dear friends inventions dear hear me this is the actual for your future mantra okay closely you have to hear me dear friends invention and discoveries emanated from creative minds that have been constantly working that have been constantly working and imaging not only really working imaging when the telephone he images raman effect he images that have been constantly working and imaging the outcome in the mind with imaging and constant effort all the forces of the universe i read again with imaging and constant effort all the forces of the universe work for that inspired mind not only you are working if you are inspired if you are imagining if you are thinking the universe work for that inspired mind thereby leading to invention or discoveries higher the number of creative minds in the country the best results of innovation in all these three sectors of economy will emerge that what that is what the innovation the what the type of uh, uh, efforts what you have invented in innovation the efforts are made